Tim asks, did those of you with bypasses in your rocket mass heaters ever see material leaving the stack that concerns you? And Tim, I'll answer you from my perspective. And, and I'll say that at least in my builds, I really have zero concern about that. Um, and the reason for that is because the flu path is so convoluted in all of my designs, basically, before you get to the bypass, that it's I won't say it's impossible, but it's pretty darn close to impossible for a lit spark. Uh, you know, if you were burning paper, it'd be one thing, but you know, if you're just having regular fires, I think it'd be almost impossible for a lit spark to transit through all those and get out your chimney um, because there's so many places where the heaviest pieces of the gas flow are going to get dropped out. So for instance, in my riserless core, you start the firebox here, it goes horizontally through a horseshoe that then, you know, is traveling horizontal for a distance of like almost three feet. Uh, and then through a mixing element chamber up and then another almost a couple feet horizontally before it enters the through the bypass into the flue. Now, in my case, my chimney's 20 some feet tall, but there's also like three or four feet below where the bypass enters. So really anything going in there is heavier is most likely going to drop out of the bottom. Now in a regular rocket mass heater, you're going to have a riser coming out and then there'll be a gap across a downdraft space going over to a bypass. So again, there's a lot of places where the stuff can and will drop out of the exhaust stream before it even gets into the chimney. And then once in the chimney, then it's it has to be lifted all the way out. And what you'll find is that typically when you're using a bypass, we aren't really filling the chimney with a huge volume. It's not like we're directing all of the direct, it's not a direct bypass, what I'm trying to say. Like, it's not like it just couples the riser right to the chimney and it's just, like I said, it's usually off the top of the riser, across the stove, and then from a high point, but there's a lot of stuff down below where things can drop out. So I think really, really, really unlikely to the point of where almost impossible, even if you're in a really dry area, I think you could feel really confident. Now that's in a complete build. Uh, if you're doing sort of a smaller, you know, shorter build outside for cooking or something like that, it might have a different answer. But if you're building a stove indoors with a full chimney and it's a full build, I think you're going to have <clears throat> basically no concern about, about anything hot going out through your bypass. Um, Tall Shadow says, no sparks ever seen coming out of my stack, even with the bypass open and fire ripping. And uh, and Belgian Gulch says, I agree, no problems with bypass. Um, and Jeremiah Shine says, and the airflow is so strong, anything lifted will be blacksmith forged. Yeah, it's a good point. Anything in there is, is going to be probably cooked uh, without any combustibility left in it. Um, so, so that's good.